Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Anjali Ammal Mahalingam Engineering College, Koyil Benni. I am happy to meet you again in the video lecture on the subject Design of Transmission System. And this is lecture number 9.6. We are going to solve problem in the design of multi-speed gearbox using the PSG Design Data Book. In the earlier lecture, we solved problem on the 9-speed gearbox. And in this lecture also, we solve one more problem in 9-speed gearbox using the PSG Design Data Book. The example number 4, design a 9-speed gearbox for a machine to provide speed ranging, ranging from 100 to 1500 rpm. The input is from a motor of 5 kW and 1440 rpm. Assume alloy steel for the gear. The question was appearing in May 2014, May 2015, November 2011, May 2006, November 2006 and May 2007. And the right given data, number of steps equal to 9, minimum speed 100 rpm, maximum speed 1500 rpm and motor speed is 1440 rpm and the power is 5 kW. We calculate the progression ratio. So, phi equal to maximum speed divided by minimum speed to the power 1 by z minus 1, which is 1500 divided by 100 to the power 1 by 9 minus 1 equal to 1.40. And we have the standard progression ratio of in the R40 series, we have 1.40, this is R40 by 7. So, the standard value, calculated value is directly available. So, we can continue with the same value 1.4. And this is the R40 series from the PSG data book, page number 7.20. The progression ratio is shown here, 1, 1.06, 1.12, 1.18, it goes like this up to 9.5. Our progression ratio is 1.4, so 1.4 equal to R40 by 7. Now, we have to select the speed starting from 100 rpm, minimum rpm is 100 rpm, so from 100 rpm we have to select at uh, every 7th speed we have to take, so starting from here, so the starting speed is 100 rpm, I have shown here by red color star, so 100, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 140, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 200, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 280, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 400, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 560, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 800, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1120, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1600. So, these are all the different speeds. And here again, number of series are equal to 2 and the structural formula is 3 by 3. And, and these are all the 9 speed from R40 by 7, 100, 140, 200, 280, 400, 560, 800, 1120 and 1600. Now, we have to draw the structural diagram. So, the structural diagram, the procedure for uh, drawing the structural diagram is uh, given here. Draw u plus 1 vertical lines, u plus 1, u is 2, number of stages equal to 2, 2 plus 1, 3 vertical lines at a convenient distance from each other. Draw an array of horizontal lines intersecting the vertical lines at a distance of log 5, log of 1.40 from each other. The number of horizontal lines equal to number of steps, so 9 speed gearbox, z equal to 9. The number of gears are on one shaft should not be generally more than 3. But in some ex exceptional cases, it may be 4. So, the speed the structural diagram that gives the number of gears in a particular shaft of the gearbox. So, the next condition, this is the structural diagram. So, the structural diagram, we have two stages. So, first stage from the driver shaft to the shaft 2 and the second stage from the shaft 2 to driven shaft. So, these are all the, this is what this, and we, we are given here the 9 speeds, 100, 140, 200, 280, 400, 560, 800, 1120 and 1600. So, for, uh, this is the input shaft for the gearbox, which is running at 400 rpm. Now, we have to 
for every input speed there will be three output speed for the gearbox and for every input speed in the shaft 2 there will be three output speed so 3 by 3 there are nine output speed at the driven shaft then we have to draw the speed chart or the ray diagram so draw vertical lines one greater than the structural diagram and uh, we have to draw four vertical lines draw the horizontal lines intersecting the vertical lines at convenient distance from r40 series you take the minimum speed n1 closest to the value given in the problem and write down the value n1 to n9 so this we already we have taken from the r40 series nine different speeds for the calculated progression ratio and the nm the motor speed is 1440 rpm and the n9 equal to 1600 rpm so the number of horizontal lines equal to 9 the speed chart gives the information about the transmission ratio of all transmission and the speed value of each gearbox shaft the line joining the points of the adjacent shaft indicate the transmission ratio so the there are three different types of uh, line joining the adjacent shaft when i equal to 1 if the line is horizontal that means i equal to 1 there is no change in the speed when the line is inclined upward i is greater than 1 that is the speed increases if the line is inclined downward i is less than 1 that is speed decreases and there are limitations for the transmission ratio when the speed is increasing the maximum speed is limited to maximum speed ratio is limited to 2 when the speed is decreasing the minimum value the value should be greater than or equal to 0.25 it should not be less than 0.25 and these two conditions we have to consider in uh, designing the gearbox so the minimum speed reduction is limited to 4 to keep the radial dimension of the gearbox within the limit and the maximum increase in the speed is limited to two times due to the limitation of pitch line velocity so when the when the i minimum value less than 0.25 then the overall size of the gearbox will increase when the i maximum value is greater than 2 the pitch line velocity will increase which will induce more stress on the gear surface and this is the speed diagram or the transmission ratio so the nine speeds are given here so the 100 to 160 we have drawn one more extra line and here we indicate the 1400 rpm the motor speed the motor speed is connected to the 400 rpm the transmission ratio is 3.6 this is outside the gearbox now the we calculate the transmission ratio so this is 1120 divided by 400 equal to 2.8 and there is no change in the speed here and there is decrease in the speed and the transmission ratio is 2.87 140 divided by 400 equal to 2.87 and in the second uh, stage between the shaft 2 and the driven shaft so the transmission is 1.43 from 1220 to 1600 and decreasing speed 1 by 1.4 similarly we calculate all the transmission ratio 1.41 1 by 1.43 and 1.43 1 1 by 1.4 these are all the actual transmission ratio for the speed in the r40 series now we have to standardize the transmission ratio so the transmission is the standard value of the transmission ratio we have to take from the psg design data book from the page number 8.6 to 8.12 so the table is available there you refer to the table and take the standard transmission ratio and for the standard transmission ratio the number of teeth is also available so we have to select carefully for the combination and this is the speed diagram with the standard transmission ratio now you look at here this is corrected to 1.41 this is which is the standard speed ratio and all the value in the second transmission second stage is corrected to 1.41 for increasing and decreasing so here increasing by 1.41 decreasing by 1.41 similarly here also increasing by 1.41 and decreasing by, by 1.41 so between a stage between the driver shaft shaft 2 and the driven shaft the speed value the speed transmission ratio should be the same then only we can have we can conveniently select the number of teeth and manufacture the gear so that is the idea that is the use or advantage of uh, the standardizing this transmission ratio uh, using the design data book and uh, here between the first stage and the second stage driver shaft and the uh, shaft 2 we are using 2.82 
um, and 1. So, 2.82 increasing by 2.0 over 10, decreasing by 2.81 and it is 1. Then the correct speed. So, these are all the correct speed for the calculated value. So, we, we calculate the correct speed. So, here it is 400, there is no change. 400 into 2.82 equal to 1128 and 1128 into 1 1.41 equal to 1590.5 and similarly decreasing by 1.41 it is 800 and here it is 400 multiplying by 1.41 is 560 and 400 dividing by 1.41 equal to 283.7 and similarly here 400 divided by 2.82 equal to 141.8 and 141.8 multiply by 1.41 equal to 200 and 141.8 divided by 1.41 equal to 100.6. So, these are all the actual speeds for the standard transmission ratio. Then we have to calculate the percentage of change in the speed. So, original speed what we have taken from the R40 series and corrected speed for the standard transmission ratio and the percentage of change is also given here. So, for the first speed 0 0.6 percentage, 0 0.45 percentage. So, how to calculate the percentage of change? Corrected speed minus original speed divided by original speed into 100. So, 100.6 minus 100 divided by 100 into 100 is 0 0.6. Similarly, we calculate the percentage of change for all the speed from 1 to 9. Then, we have to take the number of teeth from the uh, PhD data book again from the table uh, 8 point page number 8.6 to 8.12 and for the driver shaft to the shaft 2 there are two transmissions 2.82 and 1 so 12.34 12 is to 34 and 23 is to 23 this is the number of teeth number of teeth total number of teeth is 46 and similarly for the shaft 2 to the driven shaft again 1 and 1.41 are the transmission ratio 1 again we are using 23 is to 23 and for 1.41 19 is to 27 so by changing the number of changing the uh, smaller wheel and the bigger wheel we can either get the increase in speed or decrease in the speed between the shaft 2 and the driven shaft or the driver shaft to the shaft 2 and then we have to draw the kinematic arrangement for referring to the speed chart so this is what the kinematic arrangement so the condition so look at the this is the driver shaft shaft number 2 so, engaging Z1 and Z2, 23 teeth, 23 teeth, the speed ratio will be 1. And engaging 34 and 12, so Z3 and Z4, the, there is an increase in speed of 2.82. The transmission ratio is 2.82. And connecting Z5 and Z6, here it is 12 and 34. So, the speed will decrease by the ratio 2.82. Similarly, from the shaft 2 to the driven shaft, engaging 23, 23, there will be no change in the speed, 1. And when you engage Z9 and Z10, the 27 and the 19, so the, there will be increase in the speed by 1.41. And here when you engage Z11 and Z12, so there will be decrease in the speed by the ratio 1.41. So, when you have the, the condition is, as we said already, Z1 plus Z2 is equal to Z3 plus Z4 is equal to Z5 plus Z6 equal to 46. And similarly, Z7 plus Z8 equal to Z9 plus Z10 equal to Z12 plus Z, Z11 plus Z12 equal to 46. So, when you have equal number of teeth for the combination, the distance between the two shafts will be the same. So, that is the condition uh, that we have to maintain uh, for the design of the gearbox. So, we stop here. So, these are all the books I have written in mechanical engineering subject and I upload the video lecture on all the subject in the YouTube channel. You refer to the channel, subscribe the channel, use the video lectures for your better learning and score higher mark in the university examination. Thank you for watching. Please post your comments on the comments box. You can contact me through my mail ID or WhatsApp number for any clarification on the subject. We will meet again in another video, next video uh, by solving uh, 12 speed gearbox from the using the PhD design data book. Until then, bye bye.